Hell, they got Richard here today. We're about ready to go live. Uh, I'm going to get this all figured out. Uh, I was in, I had to clean up my spare room and put it all boxed in there, all these shelves and stuff. Uh, me and my friend Bobby was back there and uh, I ran across a whole bunch of stuff I thought got destroyed in the farm, in the fire. And it all worked, yeah, the neighbor across the street was moving out, moved, turning on his trailer, you know, moving. He ran across the box of papers his, his wife left there when they separated. His wife, is that my trailer called fire, is the one that backed over here. She backed over the fire hose, going to try and buy our car stuck. She came over here when they were trying to spray water on my paperwork and on my computers, and she didn't think it was fair, so she came over here and backed over the fire hose and bit a six inch one of them. <laughs> kind of a scare at the pump. <laughs> but, uh, Come over here, because they were trying to get my, my, uh, papers wet and everything. And I just found some of them papers. And I get these up here close enough. I get this turn so that it's funny. But see, these were, this, this is why my house got burned down. I mean, these were laying on a coffee table. And, uh, I guess what I did is show that there's, uh, quite a few of them and this is the one, the one important one and this one here this one here anyway that that one there was a friend of mine stopped over here at the car wash. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken is right next to the car wash. And uh, he's one telling my sister and they were over here at my house. And uh, I got a signed doc, a signed notarized statement from him. From him that. He see my sister and her buddies breaking in over at my house. And that's the day I come back and my sister is walking out of my yard. And I, I told them what it was. I told them I had it. But they said they didn't know who it was. Bullshit. Let's see, I got... This, this is just a few of the, a few of the important ones. But to let you know how how many I got, that's important to get. See the date. I'm gonna get this down. Is that? This shows you how far back I got paperwork. Yeah, that's it. 
Lynch if you're down for a little bit before we start broadcasting. Um, me and a friend of mine was in my, uh, back here in my storage room. We had to pick all the box up and move the shelves in there and take everything and put on the shelves. We had more room. We run across a box. I didn't know what was in it. So open it up. <laughs> yeah. We've also found a couple of sacks. I want to show them to you right now. That's it. That box there. Yeah. That box in there. That one. And a sack, a top sack. And then there's a There's another box full, but I, I got, uh, see these were some of the papers that were in my house that sit on my coffee table. And it goes, a, it, where it said one year past, and had, and this one here is where it broke my house. And I give them a statement. And oh, I get tongue tied. Anyway, this this is what it says on this document, but it's sure from head. Yeah, okay. Uh, is I have a copy signed and notarized by the, the person that fell out that uh, he seen somebody at my house, I'll just leave my car there so but why well, I'm gonna show you again people live didn't see me. And uh this this was made on my coffee table in my house right now. And these documents go back to ninety nine. I mean these here are, are ones that are in question about when it started the sheriff wouldn't do anything. And then it said they ain't got no documents. Oh, I think you see it. This started the first year before it before burnt my house down. They got, they kept telling me to quit. And see, before, before all this happened, and they wouldn't do nothing, I, I told, let's see, one, one, one lady down there, she was a sergeant at the time. But she said, told me in front of a couple of other uh, officers that, uh, if I didn't quit, she's gonna come to my house and beat my ass. I got her on tape, that's what made her mad. Then I went to the sheriff's department and they decided he was going to put me in mid mill state mill facility. And that would prove to them that I didn't know what I was doing. It might have worked if I hadn't been the Attorney General of the United States, told the Department of Justice, told the Governor. I got a letter, I got a letter I put up on here, it's on my uh, YouTube channel, uh, from Matt Blunt. I got one from George Bush. Now I know you don't call a president and talk to them about having trouble with the sheriff's department. But well, I got down an email to the President of the United States and he sends me back a letter saying they ain't nothing they can do. I have to go to my local government. That shows the day of when it all started. And I got them papers. The sheriff probably don't even know about them until I, until I see this video. But, uh, I want to turn to the United States, the Department of Justice in the United States. Uh, what's it called? District Attorney of the United States? <laughs> That's what I really got. Yeah, I'll see that email. Anyway, um, mm. It just frustrates me. I don't do nothing. Um, it's all started 
and I actually asked for my inheritance. That's what this whole mess is about. Um, my sister won't give me what I had coming. That's half of two hundred fifty-six thousand dollars plus forty-five thousand dollars from the farm that she sold. Yeah, I might have to stop any time. I got a couple of pit bulls in the next door now. Double team my dog. But no, I will start back when. Um, Skip tell me if I do what she says. I got her on tape saying it. If I didn't stop, start doing what she said, I won't go get none of my hands. Well, I went along with that. No, I think I'm making a scene. What's that? Right? That's where that bone, that little bone burning body. That's, that was one of the first, uh, second or third time she hit me with that damn cane. The last time, uh, Last time she hit me that cane, it broke, it hit me right in the back of the neck while I was down on my knees picking up my tools off her floor. After I put up curtain rods and paintings and put the, the molding stuff back up there, weather stripping. And she got a call from her friend and she got mad. <laughs> and she come behind me and hit me. Well, she probably didn't think it was that hard, but she's got big arms and muscles. Yeah, it came me out there. Might not have been very long, very hard where her wrist was, but you put out a swing out there. Anyway, I'm getting tongue tied, but you know, pins for my spine cord. My spine cord pins for my vertebrae and pins my spine cord. I got, I got cat skins and MRIs and all kinds of stuff. I, I think it's that one of those MRI where you put it here on my computer and it looks like a it looks like a 3D human up there and it shows all bones and everything in it. And uh you can clearly see I'm gonna figure out how I can put it up on here where everybody can see. But um uh, but anyway, uh, I guess I have a hard time staying on top of it. Anyway, I've been hit. I've been stabbed. I've had poison put in my food. All but if you ask me, it wasn't poison. If my sister tells me, it was cumin. Well, the reason I know is two of my dogs died out here because I was feeding them leftovers. She sent so much food over her house, I couldn't get rid of it. Eat it. So I, before I got back, I feed the over my dog. No, I kept having nosebleeds, and you know, one of my dog got sick and died. You didn't really make no difference. No, I'm not gonna cry. Uh, two other ones got sick. Well, what guy was when I went to the hospital down there, and they come a little fat lady from, or here said lady from the uh, laboratory come up and said, Mister Ray, you done once again. You've taken too much of cumin. Or too much blood there. I said, listen, I'll, I got in trouble from my medication. I can't for a pill. And she says, well, it's your cumin. And I said, I don't take any of that. But when she said that word, I remember where it came from. Uh, when my grandmother died, my sister had just bought her a big, big bottle of stuff. It cost about, I don't know, $70. Maybe more. Maybe it's, I don't know, 100 Anyway. She got mad and threw it at me. Well, it hit me upside the head because I wasn't watching. That's why I can remember it. I told her, I said, we're just taking crumble up and put it on the peanut butter. It's the same thing as decon. Mm -hmm. This is kind of neat. I get updates. Seventeen news storm watch. I get updates from these ABC News. Anyway, oh, nice horror. I get back to that econ fiasco. 
I told her to crunch some of up and Pete Barber, her, her thing is, she was the same day decon. Well, I know my sister, I don't care if anybody believes me or not. Um, that's what my sister do. Well, I keep having to get sick. I've got people that are here that were social workers that can testify and stuff. And as soon as I quit accepting anything over there, I quit eating it a long time before I told her I didn't want one no more. So I, I was another in my house got broken out for I couldn't prove it. I had ounce samples of uh, and food is sent over. Every time I send some more, I keep on. You know, I know they were good because they were glass specimen bottles. Because all of the plastic, and these were out of it. Old doctors all said, never been open. And uh, whether it was or not, I ain't going to get enough stuff off the glass. Anything. To, anyway, I had my freezer. Well, when they, when they done the water in my house, the only thing that was tipped over in my kitchen there was a stack of uh, 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 bread on the shelf there. It was never set over. There was one of the pots and pans sitting right outside. It wasn't set over. But my ice box was over. But when it fell over, it fell and the drawer went shut. Because I had all these ounces of this food that was poison in my ice box. Well, they didn't want no information. Just like, just like they didn't want, you know, I had all his documents. I'm on this now, I'm waiting for it. But I've got documents going back to 99. All the important ones. This is a military incident for here. Let's see. Let's see. Let me find it. Let's see. Well, here. Yeah, see. Let's see. Let's see. 518.99 I got these going back to 99 I hope you see me Mr. Sheriff but and, and this is all and this is all wrote out of what I told them everything. But I not only have this, I've got the papers that are signed by people here. Uh, I hope the Gasco guy, uh, what's his name? Um, and when he works up at Gasco, and then Eddie runs it. But uh, I got. I don't know how to say I got papers from the farm market that says that Eddie told, Eddie told them that I told him I turned the gas back on. No, I did not tell him that. He knew the gas out well, was going to raise his insurance prices. They just turned me fixing. I didn't turn anything back on. I didn't tell him I did. You hearing that, Eddie? Oh. Uh, well, I got three statements here that are signed, no rise. Uh, people over here, and know that the gas tank was shut off. I dug the gas tank out. Oh, man. Uh, I dug the gas tank out of the hot water, the water here, out of this where it got pushed in back here. And I, I got the controls, and the controls are in the off position. And. I got pictures of the V pattern. The, the, the sheriff or the farmer says a V pattern, V pattern. Well, if you look at my p 
pictures, the way he took his pictures of that thing laying there, the V pattern looks like it comes out of the, out of the flame where the flame goes on the tank. But if you look at it close, the V pattern is where the fire building caught fire and the gas is turned on the hot water here. You know? So he lied. Now let's, let's do a, a check on this. Sergeant Keith lied to the sheriff and to the judge. The judge made a ruling on a lie. She lied about me being dead. So I went, well, I guess the king's got to do anything. For that, they put me in mid mode to discredit me. You got papers that work on up here. So she had a lie to the judge. The judge made a ruling on a lie. And the next lie was when we got up there with my sister hired the ex prosecutor. Let me back up. Matt Howard is now the prosecutor. He was my attorney when Bob Seek was prosecutor. We was pressed charge against my sister. We was going to take her to court. Matt Howard got elected prosecutor. So he had to recluse himself because he couldn't be prosecutor and represent me on the same case. So Mr. Seek had to know about it. So he lied to the judge. The judge made the second ruling a lie. What what do you do? I don't, I don't know what to call it. Judge a liar. But he they lied to him, clearly. And I can prove it. I mean And then Eddie Gasco lied, not only to the judge, to the cops, to his insurance company, and to the fire marshal. Yeah, I plan on proving a lot. I've done prove my sister stabbed me and they didn't do anything about it. What's it take? I've got, I got uh, cast scans here, and I went ahead with specials, and they all knew it. I got witnesses in it. Why well, won't the Miller County Sheriff do a damn thing about it? Well, call him. My number is 573-369-2341, extension 2239. And ask Mr. Abbott why he won't do anything. I, man, I give a million bucks if, if, if there will be a hundred people call. But I'll ask, please, please, if you see this, call Mr. Abbott and ask him why he hadn't done anything. I'm gonna go in here. I figured must have done screw me all she can, and uh, the sheriff part was let it happen. What did he do? Well, they told me they was gonna discredit me. Well, they tried to put me in mental hospital. But Glenna Burton, I had a bad car in '81. It was near fatal. She's my doctor from '84. No, '80s. 93 no 84 to 91 anyway anyway uh, she knew all about this and she had a lot of flack from the Mark County Sheriff back then and uh, she was a senior psychiatrist at the University of Missouri, the mental hospital they put me in. She was going to turn me loose, but she said, well, if they see you walk around, they're not going to shoot you. She told me I better give it up or they're going to burn my house down. I got in my records the day they told me I was going to. And I got surprise for him. I, I've contacted one of the jailers or one of the, the captain or corporal or I'm sorry, I don't know who he was. Uh, he was there when I got told that. So I've been stabbed. I've been poisoned. I've been hit and permanently damaged with cancer. So now I'm back up. As willingly, knowingly, without provocation, 
with prior knowledge of a pre-existing condition that was exaggerated. And that act hit me with it came, knowing it could cause a clot. Clearly makes it a first degree assault. Poor guy. Locked out or not. It'd been a solid charge, I don't care. I got stabbed. Why didn't you do it in five then? I got witnesses I followed it. But I ask again, if anybody sees this, call the sheriff and ask him why I haven't done anything. 573-369-2341, extension 2239. And, uh, I'm gonna go for it right now. I think I got some money outside.